Next weekend, the Royals will honor their past TV and radio announcers. And our O'Neill Jones had a chance to catch up with one of those men. Hi, everyone. Before there was Ryan Lefevre. Good evening, Royals fans. The man at the Royals TV microphone was Denny Treese. Line drive toward the corner and left field. From 1980 to 1992, Denny was the Royals TV announcer. It was just a wonderful, uh, wonderfully talented team when I got here. I mean, in the more than 500 games he announced, several stand out. Without question, the most uh, remarkable play I ever described on the air was Bo Jackson's throw in Seattle in 1989. It's going to be up to Bo Jackson to try to stop Reynolds from scoring. He can't do it. Yes, he can. I don't believe it. It still ranks as, as the most impressive feat I ever witnessed on a baseball field. He made an absolutely perfect throw. Denny was at the mic in 1980 as George Brett made his run at hitting 400. But that's not the only Brett memory that he has. We're coming up on the anniversary of probably the most memorable game I ever called. Well, the Yankees, he's out. Yes, sir. Out. Look, at, look at this. The, the pine tar game at Yankee Stadium uh, in July of 83. While the Yankee announcers are featured on the YouTube version, Denny and color man Paul Splitorf have the Royals call of that wild game. You know, I was very fortunate to have a partner in Split who is so knowledgeable, you know, so knowledgeable about the game and, and just a genuine nice guy. Denny's Lee Summit home has lots of Royals items, but it also features evidence of his days as the University of Kentucky's basketball announcer. I was really lucky in my career uh, going to two national championships when I was doing Kentucky basketball games and then coming here my first season they go to the World Series for the first time and and then we all remember 85 when they won it all. Denny's a huge fan of Ryan Lefevre and he knows what the current announcers are going through with this year's losing team. You know my last year here was so difficult because the Royals lost 16 of their first 17 games and we're out of the race before it even started. Today, Denny's retired and living in Lee's Summit, but he looks back at his time with the Royals as something special. The Royals gave me the opportunity to, to live out my dream. In Lee's Summit, Neil Jones, KCTV 5 Sports. Denny says his kids were raised royal and now so are his grandchildren.